Jess, here I lay beside you sleepless, as I have so many times before, wondering why I never fall asleep. But then I came across a quote, and it all made sense. The quote said, you know you're in love when you can't fall asleep because reality is finally better than your dreams. You're probably thinking it was easy for me to make this speech because like you say, I have a way with words. But the truth is I struggled. Not because I don't know what to say or because I didn't try hard enough, but because I just didn't have the words. There is no word in the English dictionary to describe my love for you. Or at least I haven't found one anyway. Many come close, but they just don't fit. Landon, today and for the rest of our lives, I get to call you not only my best friend, but my husband. And I couldn't be more proud, excited, and thankful for it. You are my person, and I've known it since our first date. You are kind-hearted and intelligent, romantic and funny. There are truly not enough words in the dictionary to describe how incredible you are and my love for you. Thank you for loving me for who I am and supporting my dreams. You encourage me to be the best version of myself and to achieve all that I want out of life. You love me in a way I've never felt loved before and I've never been so happy. Landon, you are everything to me, and I promise to spend the rest of my life showing you how grateful I am for you. I promise to respect, admire, and appreciate you for who you are and who you wish to become. I promise to support your dreams and work together to achieve our goals. I figured out there's a point where you love someone so much you become speechless, or in my case, wordless. When asked to describe it, you can only show that love through actions. I never really believed in the term soulmates before I met you, but then I did some research and they say that from the time we are born, we search for love, because love nourishes the soul. When we are lucky enough to find it, it changes our lives forever. It still blows my mind that I was lucky enough to find you, Jess, my soulmate. If I could give you one thing, it would be to give you the ability to see yourself through my eyes, because only then would you realize how special you are to me. But since I can't do that, instead I vow to put you first before anything and always be there for you. To be with you in the little moments and cherish them. To love you more each day than the last. I promise to never stop trying to make you smile even on our darkest days. I vow to give you the best version of myself till our last breath. Jessica, I promise to give you the life you always dreamed of since you are a little girl with the chubbiest cheeks I've ever <laughs> seen by the way. I vow to give you a beautiful family so you'll never have to wear a house coat with a pillow around the house in front pretending like you're pregnant. I mean it never again. But in all seriousness, Jessica Marie Irene, I am honored to call you my wife and I am so excited for what the future has in store for us. Good or bad, it doesn't matter. We will get through it together. I love you. I promise to keep our lives playful, adventurous, and full of passion. I promise to be faithful and to make our family's love and happiness my top priority. I promise to choose you every day and love you unconditionally. You are the love of my life and I promise to prove it to you every single day. Thank you for choosing me to be your wife. I can't wait to see what life has in store for us and to grow old with you, even though you kind of already are. You're the only person I want to be by my side through our journey through life. I know you're going to be the most loving husband and the most amazing dad to our future kids. Please never stop kissing my forehead while I'm asleep and laughing at my jokes when no one else does. You're my best friend, my soulmate, and now my husband. I love you.